New York Islanders prospect Josh Hosang will become an unrestricted free agent this season. That seems kind of early. Why is that? As always, hit that subscribe button and don't miss a video. Also, head over to Twitter and follow at TLO Mitch. That's me. Don't miss any breaking information from Islanders prospects. 25-year-old Josh Hosang will become a free agent, an unrestricted free agent, that is, this year which is kind of early. We're not used to seeing 25-year-olds become UFAs. We're more accustomed to seeing 27, 28, 29 plus year olds become UFAs. So why is Josh Osang at 25 becoming a UFA? Well, if you look at the CBA, section 10.1 subclause C describes three criteria that a player has to hit to become a group six free agent. And Josh Osang hits all three. So here they are. You can go and read them fully based on, and you can look at the link here. I'll have it in the comments below. You can go to the CBA, look at section 10.1 subclause C to figure out what a group six free agent is. But here are the, the cold notes. Here are the three factors to becoming a group six free agent. You have to be 25 years or older. Josh was saying is that. You have to have at least three years of professional experience under your belt. He's got that. And you have to have fewer than 80 NHL games, or sorry, 80 NHL games or, or less. And he's got that. So again, he turned 25 on January 22nd. So check on that first criteria. He has five years of professional hockey under his belt. So check on that three-year criteria. And he's only played 53 NHL games. So check on playing 80 or fewer games. So those three things combined make him a group six free agent which means this marriage or relationship or whatever you want to call it between Josh Osang and the New York Islanders is finally broken. They can finally, finally split and go their separate ways. What's next for Josh Osang? I have no idea. I imagine he wants to get back to the NHL, but I would imagine that road is significantly blocked. I don't think that there are a lot of opportunities for him at the NHL level. AHL level probably, but certainly not at the NHL level. And if he wants to come back to the NHL ASAP, I don't imagine Russia is an option either, just because there's no transfer agreement between the KHL and NHL. So if he's going to Russia, it's on a one-year deal. So where he goes, I don't know. But I wish him all the best, and I'm glad that this is finally over between the Islanders and Josh Hosang. We can finally put this to bed. Uh, and I, I wish him all the best in wherever he lands next. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please do so. Don't miss any of my videos. If you have already, thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll catch you later.